Hello, beautiful Fit family. It is Chantel here, uh, if you didn't know. But uh, today is February 4th, and it is day 20 of the 30 day fitness challenge. And I'm feeling great. I'm enjoying myself. Uh, today's workout was a light ish one. We did all cardio. Uh, Simone was with me again today, but she had she went home. I mean, we left the gym together, but it's 11.30, so she couldn't be in the vlog tonight. We do have work in the morning. But yeah, Simone did two hours of cardio. I only did one hour of cardio. She was there before I was. She was already there when I got there. So we did an hour of cardio, and then we did about half an hour of yoga and yoga stretches. We'll say beginner yoga because, I mean, we ain't that experienced, but we definitely just kind of stretched out all of the muscles. We've been doing a lot of lifting, and I mean, we stretch after every workout, but it was just good to get in a really deep stress stretch. We were, we've been feeling a bit tight. So that was good to just stretch out all the muscles. Um, the battle ropes were free for a moment. So we just kind of tested it out to see if it's something we, we liked and wanted to incorporate. So, I mean, we only did a couple seconds, not even enough to count as part of the workout, but we touched them. So maybe next time we'll incorporate those. I don't know, we'll see what next, what next workout brings. But yeah, I feel like I'm excited. It's, it's 20 days and now we have 10 more days coming and I mean I don't plan on stopping once the 30-day challenge has ended um, I'm quite enjoying myself and the whole point of me starting the 30-day challenge was I had started to realize I guess slowly over the past couple of months I had just been starting to become more aware of myself um, because over the last couple months I mean this is the biggest I've ever been and I've always been chubby but I've never not never, but I mean, it wasn't till way later in life that I was actually fat and obese. So, I don't know. Some shit happened last year. Maybe not, not even last year. I think it would have been almost two years ago now. Um, from the first time that I had lost almost 50 pounds, since that original start of my fitness journey, a lot of things had happened that just kind of had me not feeling the best emotionally and I just wasn't dedicated anymore I didn't care didn't want to go to the gym if I wasn't at work I was asleep like I just wasn't doing anything with myself or with my life really other than work and I mean there's more to life than that and yeah so I don't know I don't know I'm gonna wait for that girl to leave because she's staring at me funny but yeah so I mean I feel like what kind of prompted it was I had gone out to the bar with some of my co-workers and a friend of mine had taken a group picture of us and the angle of the picture was just not friendly but like I saw that picture and I guess that picture kind of made it click in my head like wow look at yourself really look at yourself and I just wasn't happy anymore with what I was seeing and it wasn't about, I don't really know. I just looking at that picture and I just was bothered by what I saw. So yeah, so I just had been thinking about it for a while and just going, thinking about going back to the gym after having not been in a long time, it made me very anxious. I would sit in the parking lot and go back home because I just couldn't I couldn't get over the anxiety of having to go back into the gym and not because anyone made me feel a way about it but I was embarrassed I was embarrassed that I had given up so easily which obviously at the time it didn't feel easy but it's easier to give up than keep pushing through the bad things so I don't know so the point of the 30 day challenge was to force myself back into going. 
Like if I had committed myself to 30 days, then what's 30 more days and 30 days after that and 30 days after that and really trying to change my life because the reality of it is I don't have any health issues right now. I mean, I have pain that I've my chest is very large I developed very young so I've always had back pain so it was never really something I thought about you just kind of get used to it after a while so I mean since about 13 14 I've always had a little bit of pain and that was even before I had put on majority of my weight I'd say after 18 is really when I started to pack on the pounds but so I've always kind of been top heavy so the pain is not something that ever really bothered me but for the most part I don't really have any health issues but the potential for health issues is what kind of had to really take into consideration diabetes runs in my family on both my mother's side and my father's side so I mean my chances are already really high and living the way that I've been living is not going to do me any favors so yeah I'm like going totally off on a tangent right now but yeah even though it's only been 20 days I already feel better on the inside and I feel better mentally so I'm definitely gonna stick to it and baby steps I'm not gonna try to push myself too hard too fast because I don't want to discourage myself and I don't remember if I mentioned this or not in one of the vlogs I think I mentioned it in the other vlog a couple days ago but last week because my eating was not the greatest I didn't lose anything I actually gained and I'm not gonna lie it was a little bit discouraging because obviously I've been going to the gym every single day but I really had to quickly put myself in check like I wasn't eating properly so obviously I'm not gonna see the so eating is definitely going to be my biggest struggle and I feel like it's always going to be a struggle but over time it'll be easier to handle and deal with. So I'm really excited to see what the future holds. I don't really know where I was going with that. Oh no no all I can say is I feel good right now. I'm proud of myself for continuing to go for the 20 days and even on days that I didn't really feel like going. I made myself go anyways and it made me feel better afterwards so I'm definitely gonna stick with it keep pushing myself keep trying new things um, around that time that I saw that picture a lot of uh, fitness people on YouTube I keep looking away from the camera because feelings are weird I don't like talking about feelings that make me uncomfortable but yes, so I mean around the time that I had saw, saw seen that photo of myself and the way that the angle was just capturing every horrible thing of everything, of every part of my body, um, some fitness pages had started to show up in my recommended, in my recommended views um, portion because you know YouTube will recommend videos that it thinks you might like. And I feel like it was God slowly nudging me to fix myself, fix up yourself. I've always been a very confident person. Obviously, I'm human and I've had my days where I don't feel the greatest about myself. But for the most part, I've always been very confident and never cared what people thought about me. So I'm not really doing this for anyone. I'm doing this for myself. Um, I'm 26 and I'm slowly eating myself to death. Not even slowly, quickly. I'm eating myself to death and I don't want to do that anymore I'm I'm young I shouldn't be feeling like I'm old just straight up I feel like I'm old I mean like I joke that I'm old because of my age but if, in reality I have so much life ahead of me and if I don't fix my problems now and by problems I mean like my eating habits and things like that it is not gonna get better and it's only gonna get harder because if I think about how hard it was when I first started and the time before that and the time before that, when it was hard then, and I think about now that I'm so much bigger than I was then, it's even harder now. But then at the same time, I feel like because my, my it mentally it has clicked for me that now it's kind of easier. <coughs> you really have to want it for yourself. You can't want it for someone else. I mean, if wanting for someone else gives you that motivation and you find yourself 
along the way, then great. But I mean, you have to do it for you. You can't do it for anyone else. I look at pictures of myself now and like, my current shape and all and like I don't recognize my, recognize myself I don't look like the same person I look obviously I'm never gonna be as small as I was when I was younger that's unrealistic but I don't even want to be skinny I just want to be healthy and put myself into a position where those health risks that I might get anyways I don't get sooner than necessary because I don't want to be 27. I'll be 27 this year, for those of you that don't know. I'll be 27 this year, and I don't want to be 27 fighting diabetes and having to deal with that for the rest of my life. Now I'm getting emotional. But yeah, so i talk for another time. But yeah, I don't want to do that. I don't want to dwell on the negative things anymore. I want to be positive. I want to improve mentally and emotionally and just build myself back up. Obviously, I'll never be the person that I was, but I want to be better than I am now. And that's just with everything, not even just weight and all of that. So moral of the story i'm enjoying getting back into the swing of things i'm enjoying the process and i feel like i'm healing and i'm gonna get going now because i need to prep my lunch for tomorrow for me and mom and people are really staring at me so i love you guys and i will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog for day 21 but uh bye for now